here so that if there's anything right now that you feel you're carrying with you, that you've been carrying, whether it's this year or whether it's been for many years, so that we can discuss it and we can help you with different techniques that we will teach you um, tonight and insight to let it go, to clear things that are not serving you right now. Let me just give a quick recap okay. because I just turned on the video. So tonight's, uh, tonight's uh, event and workshop and discussion is about letting go. We all have experiences in our past that we carry, that we hold on to, and we can actually experience those in the present moment in the form of the thoughts that we have and the emotions that we have. All of those come from recordings of our past experiences and they influence the decisions we make in the present moment. And in that way, the past can kind of keep replaying itself in our lives. And if we're trying to make changes in our lives, it can be a limitation. If we want to bring positive new things, it can be a limitation. And so in today's workshop, we're gonna work on releasing those recordings, on releasing any pain that we've stored, because we very much do record pains and, and live them over and over sometimes until we do gain the tools to to release them, and that's what today is all about. So here you'll see uh, kind of like the, the breakdown of what we're going to cover. Is, can everyone see? Can you see? <laughs> so the breakdown of what we're going to cover during the workshop. Um, and if there's anything that you'd like for us to address, first of all, you can ask any questions. And, um, and if there's something that we're not covering that you feel like you'd like for us to cover, we're happy to integrate it at this time. Yeah, we, we really do hope that this is a discussion, that we can help you individually with whatever it is that you are experiencing that you want to achieve, whatever your goals are. Uh, if, whenever anyone who's participating participates and shares about their own experience, it usually benefits themselves and everyone else very much. And so um, by participating, uh, you can, help make this an even more beneficial experience. So we're gonna start by defining what we mean by letting go. So sometimes we may think that we've let go of something and oftentimes we're actually suppressing things. So we, we may have an experience and it's painful. And because it's painful, we tend to just kind of bury it down into our subconscious minds where we don't have to think about it and we tend to organize our lives in a way that we don't have to think about what has happened. Right? But that doesn't mean that we've let it go. It just means that we've kind of put it aside so that we don't have to think about it. And we usually know that this is happening because, well, when something uh, happens and it reminds us of that, that painful circumstance, then we get triggered. So we have a negative thought or a negative emotion or we don't feel well. So that's one way to know that we've, we've kind of like put it aside, but we've not really addressed it. Because if we had addressed it, if we had let it go, it would actually be gone. So the process of letting go is actually the process of consciously choosing with the right information to release any belief, any thought, any um, interpretation, any perspective, any fear, any judgment, any expectation that is not serving us. And what we mean by that when we say that it's not serving us, it means that it's not in alignment with, what, with the experience of life that we want to have. And so it's not in alignment with the goals that we have and with the intentions that we have in life. And that's how we know, right, that it, 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 it's not going to help us get to where we want to go. So consciously letting go is saying, this is not serving me, uh, I'm aware of it, and then how can I basically transcend it and completely release it from my system? And tonight we're going to teach you about three or four different methods of doing that. So that when something comes up and you know that it's not in alignment with what you want to achieve, you can permanently release it and not have to be triggered by it over and over again. Yeah. And so, uh, Another aspect of that, why is it useful to do that? Well, it's quite obvious that when we're carrying things, like Dexter was saying earlier on, 
we're kind of living, reliving the past over and over again without even realizing it. It's kind of like we're wearing a lens or glasses and we're looking at life, the present moment, through the lens of what has happened in the past without realizing that it's happening. And so in that way, we can be triggered into negative thoughts and negative emotions over and over again. We get stressed and anxious. We don't feel energized. We don't feel motivated. We may, uh, we may experience difficulties in relationships. For instance, if, we are, if we had a trauma in a relationship and we have not let it go, it, it remains in the, what we call the relationship bucket. So it's like constantly when we're interacting with someone and we haven't let go of something, it, ke it keeps getting re-triggered. And so when there's an argument, for instance, that comes into the argument, what hasn't been let go of. So do you want to talk about the goals and benefits? Yeah, of this sure, workshop? sure. Uh, the only other thing that I'll add to that is that if we consider ourselves and our experience of life and who we are and our experience of ourselves, if we look at that as a sort of bag, a bag, like Santa Claus and his gift bag, uh, and in that bag, we carry all of our beliefs, all of our memories, all of our self-image, all of our social image, and, and our beliefs about the people in our lives. Those beliefs, the things in that bag, they significantly determine the experiences that we have in our lives. If we have a negative emotion, it's because of what's in that bag. If we have a negative thought, it's because of what's in that bag. And we have the capacity, the power, to choose what's in that bag. We can open that bag, we can look inside. We can see if everything in that bag fits what we want to achieve. If we have a negative emotion, we can find out what is in that bag that's causing it. And that is really useful because then you can have the experiences that you want. You can have the emotions you want. You can have the thoughts you want. And when you have those, when you're empowered to feel the way you want to feel and, and to think the things that you want to think, you become able to manifest the things that you want in your life. So if it's a relationship, if it's weight loss, if it's whatever it is, if it's more money, if it's a better job, if it's simply inner peace and fulfillment, you can achieve those things by releasing the things that you carry that are not beneficial. And just so it's been said, because I don't think you said it, uh, we offer private life coaching where we help individuals achieve this. We also offer a very affordable group coaching program, which is a weekly call where anybody in the group coaching program can come on the conference call and we give them our undivided attention while other people can listen and also get help from listening. And we record those calls so people can listen later. We also have our consciousness course where we teach many different things about living more consciously and mindfully and achieving one's goals and having great relationships. And uh, this past year we released two books, uh, which we have over here. So uh, one is about meditation, called Meditation Made Simple, and the other one is about navigating life from the mountaintop, which is basically about achieving your goals, managing conflict, uh, resolving relationship issues, and, and really loving all of your relationships. Um, so that you can have the experience of life you want. So sorry for that plug. Just want to let you guys know where we're coming from and, and, and how we help. Uh, that being said, uh, the next topic of conversation was... The goals and the benefits of the workshop. The goals and the benefits. 